Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and the Light Path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this reading. So today, everyone, I am here with a channeled messages reading from your person for all of my Capricorns who are watching. So if you have Capricorn as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, then this reading may resonate or apply to you. So Capricorn, your person is whoever is currently on your mind right now. You two may be in separation and communication at a distance from one another. Just whoever in your heart, Capricorn, is your person. That's your person, and you'll know. Before I do go ahead and officially begin and get started, please keep in mind that this is and will be a general reading for your sign Capricorn, so it may or may not resonate for you here specifically, and if it does not, please don't take it personally. Also Capricorn, if you are interested in keeping up or following up with the energy from this reading right here, feel free to check out my Patreon membership where I do have all extended readings for the channel messages reading. So within that channel, or excuse me, within that extended reading, we'll go ahead and follow up with tarot cards and additional oracle cards to see what is yet to come based off of the energy of this reading. So that will be in the comments and in the description if you are interested, Capricorn. But without further ado, let's go ahead and officially begin here for my Capricorn. So what do we need to know in regards to the energy of love, please, for Capricorn here? Who is this person Capricorn is dealing with, please? Let's go ahead and reshuffle. So far, we do have five messages. What else do we need to know about this person's true feelings and emotions here? All right, let's go ahead and get into what we have so far. First, we have maybe we were meant to show each other lessons. I wish I met you years ago. It would have been so much better. We're getting to know one another. Why are they involved? My thoughts are too consumed by this. I miss how you treated me in the beginning. We also have you showed me that I need to love myself more. I'm not your past. Please don't hold it on me. I'm not your past. Please don't hold it on me. We also have I'm into you. But let's not rush. We have time. And last but not least for now is any interaction with you is the highlight of my day. All right, Capricorn. So I do feel like this could be a third party connection or a love triangle that you're not supporting, of course, like no third parties, no exes from the past. I feel like this person and third party doesn't always have to be a person. It could be a a vice, something low vibrational that comes in the middle that someone has control over. But say this third party is a person and it's an ex from the past. I feel like this person did not make that clear to you while getting to know them. Probably or could be because they didn't want to scare you off or for you to know the complete truth about their situation. But I feel like in the beginning they were open, available. Um, as far as getting to know you, spending time with you, it's easy to hold it, or it was easy to get a hold of this person, Capricorn. And that leads me into I miss how you treated me in the beginning. I knew exactly how you felt. Perhaps looking back at things, things became rather quickly between you and this person. It's like when you were available, they were available, Capricorn. This person would never say no to you, like they didn't have anything else to do. But I feel like you did appreciate, not appreciate that, but it's like, I like that this person makes time for me. So I miss how you treated me in the beginning. Paying attention to 
this person's own availability. Feeling like that was a green flag here, but hindsight is twenty twenty. So I feel like it's that feeling of if I knew what I know about you now, then I, I wouldn't have even entered into this. So I feel like this is your energy, Capricorn. We have, I'm into you, but let's not rush. We have time, your energy as well. Wanting to grow this connection at not a specific rate or pace, but it's like, let me test the waters before I dive in. But I, I feel like you, something about this person, maybe it was their charm. Maybe it was just your feelings and emotions. I feel like you allowed this person to see more of you or get to know you. It's like, they were available to you, you were available to them. That doesn't mean that you didn't have your own things going on, but I feel like after everything was all said and done, it's like I shouldn't have wasted my time with you or I shouldn't have really started to fall for you when lo and behold, there was all this backstory associated to you because this backstory Capricorn, I feel like it has to do with their past. I'm not your past. Please don't hold it on me. I feel like from your take or your perspective on this, it's like, it's me and you. We're getting to know each other for the first time. I understand that you could have concerns or doubts or traumas that you've been through. So do I, but don't hold that against me. Don't make assumptions because I'll get the message and it could deter me from getting to know you. And that doesn't mean that you're exiting this person out right away, but let's understand each other for people who are still learning one another and work with each other from there. So even with that perspective or take, it's like you expecting this person not to be dealing with anyone else. We're getting to know one another. Why are they involved? Your energy Capricorn, perhaps this person's ex, or it could have been a situation where they had children or a child with someone they recently broke up with someone for some of my capricorns of course please only take what resonates but you may have not found this out until later on but maybe they were still cohabitating with someone so living together with someone and that was i feel like that was a straw or the straw that broke the camel's back especially when they started to get in the middle of your day-to-day -day life like you have other things to do my thoughts are too consumed by this it's like when say capricorn you're close to your family there's this family get together you're excited to go to and you just want to focus on family but it's like you're focused on this connection instead that's not okay that's not satisfactory for me i need to be able to keep up my own momentum for the things that i'm attracting and maintaining into my life so you showed me that i need or you showed me that i need to love myself more your energy capricorn of course your self-love may have already been there from the beginning but you also showed me that this isn't worth my time the care affection love energy time that i'm pouring into you it could be poured into myself maybe we were meant to show each other lessons i'll describe it from something that I actually heard about recently but it's like when you attract someone into your life there was like a similar energy that you two were both experiencing individually so for example it could have been just wanting someone in your life who treated you well you wanted that this person wanted that but that doesn't mean that that person was the best person to treat you well so I hope that makes sense, but maybe this person did teach you something Capricorn and it also reassured you that this isn't for a lifetime. This is just for a season. We do have, I wish I met you years ago. It would have been so much better. I feel like this is this person's energy. Perhaps years ago is when they were single, they weren't caught up into things or whatever they're going through. And we also have any interaction with you is, is the highlight of my day. Could be a shared energy Capricorn. And it's like you and this person talking whenever you both were free. And now it's silence. It's distant because of this betrayal. I So I do feel like this is mostly a third party connection. 
Of course, Capricorn, please only take what resonates for you and we will have more specific energies and themes in your extended reading. So once again, that will be down below. Let's see what other messages for my Capricorns, please. When it comes to the energy of love. Between this person and Capricorn, let's go ahead and do one more pull. All right, Capricorn. So please only take what resonates. We have, I want to see the world with you. Even if this happened quickly, Capricorn, you may have started to envision things with this person, but also just being aware of what could come up out of nowhere, what could happen out of the blue. Tell me how you feel here. Tell me how you feel. I feel like you became cold after this betrayal came to light. You once were getting to know what was on my mind, but I'm revoking access to that now. We have how much do I mean to you? Perhaps questioning if any of this was real or authentic or truthful. I'll keep going without you, your energy, Capricorn. I will protect you from what hurt you. You may have been through something like this before, Capricorn, and it's like the red flags, any red flag, you sensed it from a mile away, so you have to get out of there. I will protect you from what hurt you, and I can't read your mind. Perhaps white lies here, Capricorn, something seeming off, feeling like, it seems like, and of course, not all of our assumptions turn out to be right, but perhaps this was just your intuition. It's like, there seems like there's more to the story, but yet this person isn't opening up about it. And this seems like something I should know. So yeah, Capricorn, I can't read your mind. Once again, let's go ahead and see what signs you're dealing with, but we will have that extended reading in the description. We do have Virgo. So perhaps action during Virgo season, we have Scorpio and Libra. Virgo, Scorpio, Libra. Scorpio's reading will be posted after yours, Capricorn. But that is all for today. As always, I do appreciate the love and support here, Capricorn. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you all next time or within that extended reading. Bye.